There's little question about the danger of concussions, especially if they are untreated or followed by additional brain injury. 10 TV's Tracy Townsend joins us in the studio with more from a neurologist on what happens in a concussion. Yes, I want you to take a look at this. The experts say concussion can happen when your head is struck by something or even when something or someone strikes your body with such force, it shakes your head. The key is to see a doctor and to make sure to avoid re-injury. The problem is, is if you test... Ohio the, health neurologist Dr. Injuries, Jeffrey no Eubank stuff. showed us what happens when your brain is concussed yeah. using a jar filled with water sure and an works. orange. If this orange is your brain and this container is your skull and then inside there's a spinal fluid and when you hit your head, the brain bounces up against the skull. Mm -hmm. So your brain literally is in this fluid and knocking your head, it knocks against something. The problem is, is when it does that, it alters the way the nerves are firing. Doctors say it's critical to know the signs and symptoms of concussion, which include dizziness, headache, nausea, problems with balance, fatigue, sensitivity to light and or noise. Dr. Eubank also says recovery, allowing the brain to heal, is a must along with avoiding re-injury. If you have repeated, repeated concussions, you may have to get out of whatever that is, whether it's a sport or some other activity where you're susceptible to concussions so you don't put yourself in the situation where you have this chronic progressive problem down the road. Treating a concussion starts with rest, allowing your brain to recover, and that means limiting activities that require thinking and mental concentration. Experts recommend that adults, children, and adolescents not return to play on the same day as they receive the injury. Jerry?